Hello everyone, welcome to the 36th um, C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Well, I know that I told you last time that I was going to warn you about these destructors in this tutorial, but well, I figured that if um, you're supposed to get anything out of my tutorials on destructors, I had to warn you about uh, dynamic memory too. And well, dynamic memory can be thought of uh, as flexible memory too. But well, it is called dynamic memory, so hey, we just gotta live with it. Um, and uh, right now, you're just going to create a new source file, and I I'm going to put the video on pause and enter the required information, and then I'll start recording again once I did that. So I'll see you after the pause. And welcome back. Uh, the first thing you need is a variable called x and a pointer called p, and call, and we're going to call it p for pointer. I don't know. And um, now we're going to say cn to allow the user to make an input, and the input he will type will be stored in the variable x. And I will uh, think I'll learn you about user inputs in my 11th tutorial. So if you don't know what a user input is, well then go back and watch my 11th tutorial. And I now type p equals new int x. P x equals 50 C out P x and delete P okay so this is our whole application actually and uh, you know I'm using two new keywords that uh, you probably don't know yet and that's new and delete well um New and delete uh, are used to um, allocate and deallocate um, memory. And uh, now I don't know exactly how far we got because uh, we got interrupted by my mom um, yelling at me. But as I was saying, the new keyword is used to allocate memory and the delete keyword is used to deallocate memory. But uh, anyway, let's start from the top. First of all, we have a variable called x and now we have a pointer called p. And you know this variable p has to be declared as a pointer in order for us to use the new keyword. And then you will be allowed to use a um, user input that will be stored in the variable x. And then we will create and then p, the uh, pointer p, will point at a new set of um, integer variables, and there will be x integer variables. And it uh, will. What we're actually saying right here is that um, you know if you now if you type um, five in here, then uh, p will create five new integer variables, and p x so like um, this will set all of the elements in the um, p array, all five elements or ten or that depends on what the value of x is. Anyway, all elements in the p array will be set equal to fifty, so it'll print out the value of the element and you know, the value of, of the element will always be 50 and then delete is used to deallocate the memory so delete means that okay now delete this block of code because you know we don't need it anymore so there's no need for it to um, take up any more space in our memory so remove so remove it and um, to see what I mean you just hit F9 and we're going to um, Save this file as dynamic memory. And the first uh, thing we gotta do is to enter a uh, user input. So if you try and uh, put five, just like I said, this will generate five um, new integer variables and set them all equal to 50 and now print out the values of them which will be 50 so that's why it prints out 50 and then it will delete the um, ver the variable p even though we can't see it but it is deleted and um, actually this is um, uh, if you in any uh, other application that we made so far if you didn't have this system pause thing, then as soon as we ran our program or executed it, it will shut down. Well, when you have this new keyword, 
then that means that no matter what it says, no matter if you don't have that pause thing, then it's going to wait for it to the L L to to the memory to be allocated and deallocated. So if we put five right now, you see that it'll uh, exit the program as soon as you hit five, because as soon as the memory has been allocated, okay, then it'll look for the uh, pause statement. If it hasn't got a pause statement, then it'll exit. So well, what we do is we type in five, and then it'll create five new integer variables, and then once the um, memory has been allocated with the new keyword, it'll exit. And you may think like, okay, so we can't see that it actually um, deletes the variable p, then why is this useful? Well, even though you can't see it, it is useful in a larger applications, you know, where you uh, got like lots of data, then it is useful to remove the data that you don't need to uh, save some uh, CPU sp space. And um, the new keyword, well, that just generates the amount of um, new of a uh, new uh, integer variables, you can uh, you know de declare new booleans too, but we chose uh, int because you know that's pretty default. And um, also, uh, uh, as I just showed you, an advantage of um, dynamic memory is that it can be declared during the runtime, you know, um, and that means that we don't need that pause uh, thing as long as the memory hasn't been allocated. It wait for it to exit until the memory has been allocated and that's because that in all of our other applications uh, the variables have been set from start to a value but in here it'll wait for the values to be set it'll wait for the memory to be allocated and uh, well actually that was your tutorial on a dynamic memory and so uh, now our next tutorial can be on um, destructors just as I told you to so um, I'll see you in my next tutorial now. I gotta go to bed before my mom explodes. So um, I'm in a big trouble. I'll see you.